In this lesson, we're going to set up our project. All right, so to get started, you want to go to File and New Project, and it's going to bring up the Project Wizard. Now, you'll want to go to the Create New Project tab, and then you'll browse to wherever you want to create your project. Now, once you've done that, just simply hit Create. You don't need any of these packages checked um, at this point because we're not necessarily sure of what we're going to be uh, using in this. I know, for example, for this series, we're not going to be using any packages. Now, if you're worried about these packages, just remember that you can always um, open them and import those at any time during the project. So I'm going to leave all those unchecked for right now and just simply hit Create. Now, once you hit Create, it should bring up Unity, and then we can start creating our folders for our project. So to get started with this, I'm going to right-click and create a folder. And let's just start by creating a few different folders here, like our Materials folder, our Textures folder, our Scripts folder, our Scenes folder, and then our Prefabs folder. These are going to be the main folders that we'll need to get started. All right, so to get started with this, we need to import our assets. Now, the asset that we're going to be working with uh, throughout this course uh, more prominently is going to be the texture sprite sheet that we're going to be using. So in your sprite, uh, textures folder, you're going to right-click and import new asset, or you can bring it up in the browser and just drag and drop that into this folder. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and bring up my folder in my browser, and I'm going to be using the sprite sheet 01.psd. Now, you won't have this file in your project fo uh, files. It will be in the Unity files. So if you're wondering about that, if you've opened up your project files, you'll see two folders. You'll see referenced files and Unity files. Now, where this is going to be located for you in your project files is going to be under uh, Unity files, assets, and then textures. And you'll be able to find it there. Now, seeing how I haven't imported that yet, I'm going to make sure that I bring it in here. So let's go to Unity Files, or I'm sorry, Reference Files, and then drag and drop that into our Textures folder. All right, so let's go ahead and just minimize that, and now we have our texture. Now, once you bring a texture in, you need to set it up. So right here at the uh, inspector level, we're going to go to our texture type, and we're going to change this over to Advanced. Now, this is going to be used as our sprites, and right now I have generate mitmaps on. Now I don't want mitmaps on my game object because mitmaps is a kind of an LOD sort of system. So the further the camera gets away from the texture, it's going to down res it. And I don't really need that because I'm going to have a fixed camera. So I'm going to turn generate bit, uh, mitmaps off. And then we're also uh, going to come down here. We're going to change the size of our texture. Now I'm going to use 2048 by 2048 and I'm going to use the automatic compression. Let's go ahead and hit apply and that should update our texture. Now that we have the texture ready to go inside of our project file, we need to go to our materials and create a new material. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create our uh, track materials. So let's go to material and let's give it a name here. So I'm going to call this track straight underscore mat. Okay, and that just stands for material. It's easy to see in a list if I need it. Now we need to change the shader type, and the shader type that we're going to be using is going to be unlit transparent um, cutout. Now with this, we're going to bring in that texture that we just imported. So let's go ahead and click on that and go to Sprite Sheet, and you'll see that that has been added to um, our material. Now this texture already has alphas and everything set up on it. Now, you may be wondering how to create sprite sheets, and in Volume 2, you're going to go through this process of creating a sprite sheet with Kurt, and he's going to show you how to create this exact one. Now, it's going to be more on the technical side, and so you're going to be uh, learning how to draw the car and the basic steps for drawing all of the different pieces and a lot of the technicalities that we need. Okay, so now once this is applied, um, let's go ahead and get the correct texture that's on our sprite sheet for this material because right now it's showing us the entire sprite sheet. Now you might be wondering how do we get just a single sprite from the sprite sheet? Well what we can do is we can use the tiling and the offset to get the correct position on our material. 
So the tiling is going to give us the scale of our material. So all I have to do is take the um, one tiling, so uh, one, and divide that by how many frames I have across and how many frames I have down. So across in my X, I have eight frames. So if you take one and divide that by eight, you get 0.125. Let's do the same thing in our Y because there are eight frames going down. So we're going to do 0.125, and you'll see that we get a frame here. Now it looks like a dust particle, and that's right down here on the lower left corner. Now what I want is the straight track piece, and that's going to be up one and over one. So instead of our tiling being 0.125, Let's do 0.25 and 0.25. Now you'll see here, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm, I need 1.25 or 0.125 on that tiling. On our offset, we need 0.125 and 0.125. That's going to give us the overall positioning. Now we can go ahead and we can take a look at our material, see if we have any issues with that. Everything looks great on that material. So now what we want to do is we want to create the rest of these materials. So I'm just going to hit Control D to duplicate this material, and I'm going to give it a different name. So this one I'm going to say Track Curve, and let's remove that number off of the end as it's not needed. And with that curve, let's go ahead and move over one space in the X. So we're going to add 0.125 to this, so it's going to be 0.25, and that will give us the curve that we need. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and make another uh, duplicate of this. So hit Control D. Now this one is going to be the grass tile. So let's just say track grass. Now with the grass, we're going to move over 0.125, and that's going to be 0.375. There we go. And then we're going to duplicate this one. And we're going to call this one, I believe that's going to be the ramp. Now the ramp, we don't necessarily need that for our project because we're not going to be creating that functionality. But I do want to leave it in there in case you want to create that functionality. I believe that you can get enough out of this uh, series that you can actually script that on your own and create that own functionality. So um, let's go ahead and just move over uh, two more spaces. So instead of 0.5, we're going to do 0.625. Okay. And let's type that in one more time, 0.625, and that's going to give us the starting position on our track. And then we need one more, and that's going to be our finish. So let's change the name of this one, sorry about that. This is going to be track start underscore mat. And then duplicate that, hitting control D. Let's go ahead and change its name before we forget. And this one's going to be finish. Okay, so now with this one, we're going to say 0.75. And there we go. So we have the different materials that we need for our track. Now what we need to do in our next lesson is we need to create the prefab for our track piece. And I'm going to show you how to create that, what the pieces that we need to set that up, and then I'm going to show you how to build a simple track using just these materials in that single prefab. So we'll get started with that next.